fellow vidians we are back in seven days to dine and uh, it's just turned morning time as you can see it's uh, just after the time and we are going to go make our way towards the trader to get that off our list and I did look and I've got it waypointed. It's actually down here. It's not too incredibly far away. Um, as you can see, it's you can you can fit it all in one map, but it is quite a bit distance. So, but that is where we are headed, or at least attempting to head is to see if we can get to the trader. So. That is the goal, anyway. Because the last playthrough, when I did it, I never bothered to, um, actually get the, um, to do that quest. And it ended up staying on there and staying on there. And so, I am planning on making sure that this time, we get it taken off, and I believe that's the marker for it, way out there in the distance. So currently, you guys, it is, um, Friday night, or Saturday morning. My Friday night, but it is Saturday morning, at just before about 1 in the morning. And, uh, I'm recording this so that I have a little bit of a break over the weekend here. Um, simply because I've got some things to do over the weekend. So... Plan is is to have this done, and then I don't have to fret about it. I come Monday, when you guys will be seeing this, I don't have to worry about it because I'll already have a video out. Now we will be coming back to here. This is where our bed will is and stuff, and we've got all of these places that you just seen us walk past here. We got all these places we haven't even gotten to get around to checking yet so we are going to we just haven't got there yet how am i going to get up and over this thing because that is extremely large and i still have a broken leg um let's go this way and see if i can come up and around that mountain because that's awfully steep to try to just climb over. Oh, yeah. Lady. Don't tell me there's another one around here. No. She hit me good. Did you guys see that? Nothing. Nothing worth having. Alright. So, that's the plan anyway. Did I just see? Look at this, you guys. We spent that whole time over there seeing if we could find nests and stuff. And I think I just saw another one that I went past. And there's a nest sitting over here. Alright. Off to see what we can find here. And. Oh, I heard you, buddy. Um, before you guys ask, because I know a couple of you guys did ask, um, my time settings, um, I play for recording purposes because I record a couple, like, all right in a row. Um,. So, when I'm recording, um, I have my days set for, 
um, two hour day cycles, 420 minute day cycles. Um, and because I record probably usually, now not this episode, but normally when I'm recording seven days, um, which um, by the time you guys see this video, the previous video it will have been out which um, has the possibility of a change in it depending on what you guys decide to write down and let me know so um, uh, by the time this comes out I'll have a good idea as to whether or not you guys want me to make this a regular series um, throughout the week um, but the um, thing is, if I do make it a regular series, essentially what that entails is I will be, um, I will be, uh, recording probably two, three episodes at a time, and, uh, then rendering them all out and going about it like that, so... Okay, slowly heading over to here. This broken leg really messes with everything. <coughs> Pardon me. And of course, there's zombies in the area that are following me. Uh, oh, you guys, that is so helpful. Oh, oh. That is so helpful. We are going to use one of those right now. Just so that it takes out that um, infection. Alright, come on, load in. I'm kind of really looking forward to this next update they've got coming out, you guys. They've... Uh, ow! I saw it just a second too late. Um, they have apparently really, really made some strides in, um, the way everything works. And it's supposed to actually work a lot smoother. So, I'm really, really hoping, um, that it does because... Um, as you guys can see, I mean, I'm, I've got my settings and stuff kind of turned down, and I still get into a couple of spots where it, while it's loading the background graphics, or I'm coming into an area where it's going to change biomes or something, I get a little pause and a little slowdown on things, and so I'm, I really am kind of looking forward to this new update when it comes out. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this drop-off here. I think we will come up over this way. And we'll have to remember that on our way back, if we can't cut across, we'll have to walk all the way back up to here to try to come back and around. But... That's a zombie. Kind of trying to avoid the zombies at the moment because we just we don't have a lot. Come on, easily step down there. Thank you. Plus, with the broken foot, oh. But my goal today was to get this trader quest off of here because, um, like I said in the um, first series of this, which raided, what, two towns, and, uh, got a bunch of stuff, uh, set up and established, got us a nice little house with, um, a forge and campfire and, um, that kind of thing, it, it all worked, and it worked well up until it no longer worked, but I never actually got the trader quest, off of my system. So, I was determined. I was like, look, not gonna do that again. 
um, we are going to make sure that we get all of these beginning quests cleared off of here so that we actually have gone through and done what we were supposed to the first time and get it all out. And then, of course, we'll have room to work on other things. So, I've got the one healing kit, but I really don't want to use it unless I absolutely have to. So that's kind of the other reason why I'm currently avoiding having to fight zombies at the moment. Piggy? You go that way. Draw any zombies that way away from me. I'll send you running just so you can do that. Man, I'm telling you what, you guys. When we pick a hilly area to go into, we pick a hilly area to go into. They're like sheer cliff faces. Man. We may have to find a much safer route to come back. Because this is a good way to... Oh, I was going to say, I thought I saw some trash. This is a completely good way of breaking a leg. No, I'm not picking any of that up. I'm just trying to get over here to the trader. And uh, that's kind of why I made sure that when I got ready and set this up that I was going to start the recording right after daybreak. Just because I knew it was going to be a bit of a trip to get over here. Look at our map. Where are we at? We're right there. Okay. We're not too incredibly far. It's just all of these hills make it really annoying to have to go. Ooh! You guys, I just about walked headlong right into that dude. And that is not what I want to do. Definitely do not want to do that. Like I said, trying to avoid fighting. Oh, come on, up the hill. I'll tell you, that is kind of a cool function that when they added that in on the uh, Alpha 15, whereby you can, you run faster going downhill, and then going uphill, your character all of a sudden slows down because it's legitimately, just like in real life, you would slow down when you're going up the hill like that. That's actually a really cool thing that I thought they added in. Kind of, you know, adds to the immersion of the game and uh, puts you into the perspective of your character. Of, you know, um, making sure that wherever you build something like that, if you're going to need something where it's a fast getaway and they, you don't want to build your house at the very top of a hill because if you're running for your life at night time to try to get back, anything good? Mm, flashlight glass jar. Gives me a flashlight, if anything, to try to sell to this guy. Um... But you don't want to put it at the top, because if you were trying to run back and then you had to climb real slow or walk real slow to get back up to where your house and stuff is, well, it would make it really difficult. So, I thought, you know, eh, that's pretty good. It kind of really adds to the immersion of the game. Ow, I stepped on another cactus. Gotta stop doing that. That's, oh, whew. That cactus over there looked like a zombie as I was running up to it. I was like, no! Is that a, just a regular... A regular rock we can climb up over this way. Okay. F5. 
Athletics still going up. That's a good thing. Ooh, steep hill here. But don't get going too fast, Uni. You're gonna end up falling off. Hey, go after that deer. Leave me alone. You go after that deer. He was right there. I'll leave him for you while I get out of here. It sounds like a fair deal to me, zombie. Come on. I'm telling you what, this broken leg really, really slows you down. Now, I hope this isn't like... We were playing, um... Uh, when I say we, me, and some friends, we were playing on... Uh, a buddy's seven days private server the other day. And, uh... Get ready to go to the trader. And we get up... The trader was just surrounded by zombies. I mean, like, the zombies were... Um beaten up on the place. It was just extremely noisy because all we could hear was, you know, the um, the banging, um, kind of the loud trill whenever you try to hit something that is, for instance, if you try to break something that's inside of the trader's um, uh, shop, it'll do like this loud kind of uh, harsh trill or a bing, you know, like a loud bing to, sh to basically say, hey, you can't do this. And all of these zombies are just pounding on, on, on the outside. It was um, one of the fort-style uh, trading shops. And the zombies are just pounding. Oh, this is one of the uh, storage ones. The zombies are just pounding on this thing. And I mean, it was the loudest racket I have heard in a long, long time. But... Um, we ended up having to clear all of them out just so we could get in, and it was, it was seriously was that loud. Okay, um, you know what, before we go in there, let's see if this guy has anything that we can scavenge out that we can turn around and sell to him. Maybe for some quick cash. Nothing in there. We gotta check these things, you guys. I mean, see, look at this. We found, when we went into the, uh, fort one, um, we ended up finding, like, a whole bunch of stuff that this, that they was inside of that little area that the trader had. And, um, we were able to sell them all pretty much back to him. And it, I mean, it was like free money because it was like, okay, this is stuff that was already here. It's not like we had to go and you know, find and scavenge for it or anything like that. We, it was just, it was there. Nail gun frame, that's nice. I'd like to get a nail gun. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Oh, I was gonna say, I thought there was a door I didn't open. Alright. This way. I do like those little vending areas and stuff because if you're playing on um, kind of like a private server, if you aren't playing on one of those and um, lots of different people get on to play and that kind of thing, having those little vending areas like that is actually like a really cool idea. Um, because you could get, like, say, a whole bunch of stuff that the trader doesn't want to buy. But it's good stuff that somebody else might actually want to. And you can just put it in a vending area. And it, whoever gets on then would say if they decide they want it, they could get it from you. And you're not out anything. You don't have to worry about scrapping it or anything like that. I know a couple of people who, um... They do that with, uh, purple items. 
on their own little personal server. Okay, nothing in there. Got anything good in you? Trophy. There's a little bit of cash. Okay, anything? No. No. More glass jar. Ooh, scrap iron. I will take that. I will take that wrench too. I can sell that off if you if you'll buy it. I can sell that off to him. Oh, I will take that miso soup. Apparently, that put something into my probably uh, one of those cards. No, here I'll take those cans. I can scrap that down. Okay, anything in the trash can? Just glass. Don't need the glass. And anything good up here? Oh, black shirt, that's nice. Filing cabinet. Anything. This filing cabinet. Oh, well. Take that. Unlock the a gas can. I don't want any nails. Okay. And anything good up here. I see that coal pile down there. That's not really gonna help me. And I hear the zombies out there too. Can't get anything out of uh, any of that. Alright, let's check and see what we got on right now. What? No character, not clothing. Um What do we have on right now? We just got a plant fiber shirt. Okay, let's wear that. That gives us a regular shirt. And that we can scrap. Um, the football helmet will, we will definitely keep on. Um, actually, no, wait a minute. Let's see here. Character, we got no glasses on, so we'll put the nerdy glasses on. It at least gives us something to put on for extra stats. <laughs> Howdy, sir. We have great prices. Good. Um, just wanting to know if you will buy this stuff. So far, so good. Oh, I should have selected all on that, shouldn't I? Will you buy this paper? He won't buy any more paper, okay. What about dollar bills? Buy that? Good. Okay. Alright, you know what? I'm I'm perfectly happy with that. Um, let's see here. Let's see if he's got anything that we can use or that we can afford because we only have like 113 so that was tools what about ammo weapons nails gunpowder I have none of that stuff yet what do you have in secret stash anything good Ooh, he does have mechanical parts we'll have to remember that some lead, he's got some auger parts, that's nice. Um, yeah. Nothing really that, unfortunately, I can afford. Um, let's see 
here. Nuts, chemicals, nuts. What about in clothing? Do you have anything you can sell me decently in clothing? It does not look like it. Everything is way too expensive. Yes, pleasure doing business with you too, my friend. And of course that's locked. He's got a bookshelf back there, but we can't reach it. And nothing else that we can reach. Okay, well. You know what? The nice thing is, is we did make it here and we got that off of our quest list. So, that is a cool thing. And we are at the end of this episode, too. So, I am going to go ahead and call the episode right here, you guys. And, um, in the next one, we will be going straight. I may just say, because all I'm going to do is head back to the house. So, um, probably when we pick up, it'll be right back over there. Um, hopefully on the same day, because hopefully I can get back there. It only took, what, uh, about five hours game time to get here so hopefully i'll be able to to be back it'll be only be you know like say three four o'clock and we can continue to raid the city and stuff so um but thank you very much for watching you guys if you would hit that like button for me it helps me out it helps the channel out lets me know you guys want to see more um if you do want to see more and you haven't done so yet, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. Any helpful hints, tips, tricks, comments, suggestions, and or questions, put in the area below. And until next time, you guys, laters!